So just give me a minute. We're going to put some water in and see how they steam. I'll be back. Okay. So I'm back. Um, I'm just going to show you how you put the water in each one of them. This is the water cup for this one. It actually comes off of the steamer and you just fill it up to the max line, which is here. And then you just come over it up on here and you have to make sure that it fits in place securely and just twist it. You kind of move it around with your hand to make sure it's on there because one time I didn't and it fell off and it was hot. Luckily I wasn't standing by it but it fell and hot water was everywhere. So make sure if you have this one just pull on it make sure it's on. Then here there's a timer. You can have it up to 30 minutes and then if you go over 30, it'll just shut off. I'm going to just set it for 10, well actually I'll set it for 15 minutes just to let it heat up and then turn it back around. So that's that one. Now, the beautiful, from what, oh, from what I was told, you just take your water and pour it in. This does not actually come off of the unit. So I'll step back. And if you can see here, just pull this in for you. Okay, so I'm just taking a cup of water, actually pouring it in the unit. I'm going to fill it to the max line, right at the max line, because my friend told me, <coughs> excuse me, that if you um, put too much water in the heatable, that it won't work so I don't want to overfill it. So now that we have the water in here and then turn this button that says ozone on. Okay so it just beeped which I assume means it's about to start heating. So this one got about a three minute head start from this one. And if you see the light illuminates, I'll show you. See the illumination of the light in that one? kind of cool effect. This one, I mean not too much going on as far as effects. Just a water container and a black uh, steamer. So this one does have a nicer effect to it I guess you could say. So now we wait and we watch. So I'm going to... Okay so these are heating up still, so while they're heating up, I'll go ahead and talk about a few more things that I had thought about. Um, first thing is, for you that do, do not know, uh, Hutiful, since I'm on the topic of Hutiful, they're having what is called the Hutiful Hair Idol Competition. <laughs> so if you think you have what it takes to be the Hutiful Hair Idol, then you can head over to their website and you can enter to win by... Um, I think you have to do a video or either send photos and tell them why you should be the next beautiful hair model. And then maybe you'll end up in ads, um, probably maybe in some beautiful hair shows and on this box in place of Desiree. Now, I'm not sure if her name is Desiree, but you'll possibly on, be on the beautiful box. So that's a good opportunity for all of you natural hair ladies. And also, there was one more thing that I wanted to mention. Um, what is, oh, also how I was telling you, this is a stand-up steamer. I have heard on blogs and other sites that Beautiful will soon be coming out with a stand-up version. Now, I'm not sure if it will be available to the general public or only salons, but I am waiting for that because I do prefer the stand-up version. It is a lot easier to use for me, but if they can come out with a lightweight version, just like this one that is lightweight and not heavy, that can be easily moved from one place to another, then I will, for sure, buy the beautiful stand-up being the um, product and equipment junkie that I am. So, those are two things that you can be on the watch for as well. Now, as you hear the noise in the background, 
those are the sounds of the water boiling. Okay, so we're back with the steam now. So as you can see, there's the steam production of the heatable. Let me get a close-up. Water is boiling. Did you see that boil going on there? Definitely boiling, definitely hot. And then we come over. Like I said, this one, because it's bigger, doesn't seem to produce as much steam, but the steam is in there. However, this probably will get more steam around your entire head because the size of the hood is built to fit the average head size, whereas this one is very large, so a lot of the steam kind of circles around it and may not get around the back of your head, I've noticed. It does do a very good job on the front and the sides, but sometimes the back of the head gets a little neglected. Okay, so we do see that they both produce steam, and they're both ready to go. So now I'm going to go over to part two and tell you the products that I'll be using and which of the two, the beautiful or the Salons R Us is the best steamer in my personal opinion.